Hello everyone. Today I got a few dirty jokes for you. So let's start it. Number one, a guy decides to do something nice for his girlfriend before they leave on vacation. So he gets her name tattooed on He comes home and shows it to her. She looks at it and says, that's great sweetie, but what is we? He tells her to rub it. And as she does, she sees it actually reads Wendy. When they arrive at Montego Bay, the couple are walking along the beach and the boyfriend notices a black guy with Y on his He asks the man if he also has a girlfriend named Wendy. The black guy laughs and says, Nah, mon. Mine says, Welcome to Jamaica, have a nice day. Number two, there is a fellow who is talking to his buddy and says, I don't know what to get my wife for her birthday. She has everything and besides, she can afford to buy anything she wants. I'm stumped. His buddy says, I have an idea. Why don't you make up a certificate that says she can have two hours of great <laughs> any way she wants it? She'll probably be thrilled. The first fellow does just that. The next day, his buddy asks, Well, did you take my suggestion? How did it turn out? She loved it. She jumped up, thanked me, kissed me on the mouth, and ran out the door yelling, I'll see you in two hours. <laughs> Number three, a teacher is teaching a class, and she sees that Johnny isn't paying attention. So she asks him, If there are three ducks sitting on a fence, and you shoot one, how many are left? Johnny says, None. The teacher asks, Why? Johnny says, Because the shot scared them all off. The teacher says, No two, but I like how you're thinking. Johnny asks the teacher, if you see three women walking out of an ice cream parlor, one is licking her ice cream, one is her ice cream, and one is biting her ice cream, which one is married? The teacher says, the one is her ice cream. Johnny says, no, the one with the wedding ring, but I like how you're thinking. Number four, why did I get divorced? Well, last week was my birthday. My wife didn't wish me a happy birthday. My parents forgot, and so did my kids. I went to work, and even my colleagues didn't wish me a happy birthday. As I entered my office, my secretary said, Happy birthday, boss. I felt so special. She asked me out for lunch. After lunch, she invited me to her apartment. We went there and she said, Do you mind if I go into the bedroom for a minute? Okay, I said. She came out five minutes later with a birthday cake, my wife, my parents, my kids, my friends, and my colleagues all yelling, surprise. While I was waiting on the sofa, make <laughs> Number five, after picking her son up from school one day, the mother asks him what he did at school. The kid replies, I had with my teacher. She gets so mad that when they get home, she orders him to go straight to his room. When the father returns home that evening, the mother angrily tells him the news of what their son had done. As the father hears the news, a huge grin spreads across his face. He walks to his son's room and asks him what happened at school. The son tells him, I had sex with my teacher. The father tells the boy that he is so proud of him and he is going to reward him with the bike he has been asking for. On the way to the store, the dad asks his son if he would like to ride his new bike home. His son responds, no thanks, dad. My still hurts. <laughs> Number six at school, little Johnny's classmate tells him that most adults are hiding at least one dark secret. So it's very easy to blackmail them by saying, I know the whole truth. Little Johnny decides to go home and try it out. Johnny's mother greets him at home and he tells her, I know the whole truth. His mother quickly hands him $20 and says, just don't tell your father. Quite pleased, the boy waits for his father to get home from work and greets him with, I know the whole truth. The father promptly hands him $40 and says, please don't say a word to your mother. Very pleased, the boy is on his way to school the next day when he sees the mailman at his front door. The boy greets him by saying, I know the whole truth. The mailman immediately drops the mail, opens his arms, and says, then come give your daddy a great big hug. <laughs> Number seven, a bride tells her husband, 
Honey, you know I'm a v and I don't know anything about Can you explain it to me first? Okay, sweetheart. Putting it simply, we will call your private place the prison and call my private thing the prisoner. So what we do is put the prisoner in the prison and they made love for the first time and the husband was smiling with satisfaction. Nudging him, his bride giggles, Honey the prisoner seems to have escaped. Turning on his side, he smiles and says, Then we will have to re-imprison him. After the second time, the bride says, Honey, the prisoner is out again. The husband rises to the occasion, and they made love again. The bride again says, Honey, the prisoner escaped again. To which the husband yelled, Hey, it's not a life sentence. <laughs> Number 8, a lady goes to the doctor and complains that her husband is losing interest in The doctor gives her a pill, but warns her that it's still experimental. He tells her to slip it into his mashed potatoes at dinner, so that night, she does just that. About a week later, she's back at the doctor, where she says, Doc, the pill worked great. I put it in the potatoes like you said. It wasn't five minutes later that he jumped up raked all the food and dishes onto the floor, grabbed me, ripped all my clothes off, and ravaged me right there on the table. The doctor says, I'm sorry, we didn't realize the pill was that strong. The foundation will be glad to pay for any damages. Nah, she says, that's okay. We're never going back to that restaurant anyway. <laughs> Number nine, a man was having premature ejaculation problems, so he went to the doctor. The doctor said, When you feel like you are getting ready to ejaculate, try starting yourself. That same day the man went to the store and bought himself a starter pistol and ran home to his wife. That night the two were having sex and found themselves in the 69 position. The man felt the urge to ejaculate and fired the starter pistol. The next day he went back to the doctor who asked how it went. The man answered, Not well. When I fired the pistol, my wife pooped on my face, bit three inches off my p and my neighbor came out of the closet with his hands in the air. <laughs> Number 10, a typical macho man married a typical good-looking lady, and after the wedding, he laid down the following rules. I'll be home when I want, if I want, what time I want, and I don't expect any hassle from you. I expect a great dinner to be on the table, unless I tell you that I won't be home for dinner. I'll go hunting, fishing, boozing, and card playing where I want with my old buddies, and don't you give me a hard time about it. Those are my rules. Any comments? His new bride said no, that's fine with me. Just understand that there will be here at 7 o'clock every night, whether you're here or not. <laughs> Number 11, a girl realized that she had grown hair between her legs. She got worried and asked her mom about that hair. Her mom calmly said, That part where the hair has grown is called your monkey. Be proud that your monkey has grown hair. The girl smiled. At dinner, she told her sister, My monkey has grown hair. Her sister smiled and said, That's nothing. Mine is already eating bananas. <laughs> Number 12, a guy walks into a pub and sees a sign hanging over the bar which reads, Cheese sandwich, $1.50. Chicken sandwich, $2.50. Hand job, $10. Checking his wallet for the necessary payment, he walks up to the bar and beckons to one of the three exceptionally attractive blondes serving drinks to an eager looking group of men. Yes, she inquires with a knowing smile. Can I help you? I was wondering, whispers the man, are you the one who gives the hand jobs? Yes, she purrs, I am. The man replies, well, go wash your hands. I want a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Number 13, a guy and his date are parked out in the country away from town when they start kissing and fondling each other. Just then, the girl stops and sits up. What's the matter? Asks the guy. She replies, I really should have mentioned this earlier but I'm actually a prostitute, and I charge $100 for The man thinks about it for a few seconds, but then reluctantly gets out a $100 bill, pays her, and they have 
After a cigarette, he just sits in the driver's seat, looking out the window. Why aren't we going anywhere? asks the girl. Well, I should have mentioned this before, replies the man, but I'm actually a taxi driver, and the fare back to town is $50. <laughs> Number 14, a man gets on a bus and ends up sitting next to a very attractive nun. Enamored with her, he asks if he can have a deck with her. Naturally, she says no and gets off the bus. The man goes to the bus driver and asks him if he knows of a way for him to have a deck with the nun. Well, says the bus driver, every night at 8 o'clock, she goes to the cemetery to pray. If you dress up as God, I'm sure you could convince her to have f**k with you. The man decides to try it, and dresses up in his best god costume. At eight he sees the nun and appears before her. Oh god, she exclaims, take me with you. The man tells the nun that she must first have f**k with him to prove her loyalty. The nun says yes, but tells him she prefers Anasek. Before you know it, they're getting down to it, having nasty, grunty, loud after it's over, the man pulls off his god disguise. Ha ha, he says, I'm the man from the bus. Ha ha, says the nun, removing her costume. I'm the bus driver. <laughs> Number 15, three brothers are traveling along a road and their car dies. They all get out of the car and start walking to a barn that's a little ways away. When they get there, the farmer comes out of the barn and offers them a room for one night. He says to the first one, you can sleep with the pigs, the second guy, you can sleep with the cows, and the third guy, I like the cut of your jib, you can sleep with my 18 daughters. The next morning, he asks everyone how they slept. The first man said, I slept like a pig. The second man said, I slept like a cow. The third guy said, I slept like a rabbit. I jumped from hole to hole to hole. <laughs> Number 16, the bell rang for school to start and John walked in late. Mr. Clark asked, John, why are you late? He replied, I was on Cherry Hill. Then he sat down. Ten minutes later, Nathan walked in late and Mr. Clark repeated, why are you late? Nathan answered, I was on top of Cherry Hill. Five minutes later, Kevin walked in late and Mr. Clark said to him, Kevin, where have you been? Kevin replied, I was on Cherry Hill. Ten minutes later a girl walked in the classroom and Mr. Clark asked, Hi there, what's your name? The girl replied, Cherry Hill. <laughs> Number 17, a married man was having an affair with his secretary. One day their passions overcame them in the office and they took off for her house. Exhausted from the afternoon's activities, they fell asleep and awoke at around 8 p.m. As the man threw on his clothes, he told the woman to take his shoes outside and rub them through the grass and dirt. Confused, she nonetheless complied and he slipped into his shoes and drove home. Where have you been? demanded his wife when he entered the house. Darling, replied the man, I can't lie to you. I've been having an affair with my secretary. I fell asleep in her bed and didn't wake up until 8 o'clock. The wife glanced down at his shoes and said, You liar. You've been playing golf. <laughs> Number 18, a devout Catholic, got married and had 15 children. After her first husband died, she remarried and had 15 more children. A few weeks after her second husband died, Maria also passed away. At Maria's funeral, the priest looked skyward and said, At last, they're finally together. Her sister sitting in the front row said, Excuse me, father, but do you mean she and her first husband, or she and her second husband? The priest replied, I mean her legs. <laughs> Number 19, a woman is having a hard time getting her tomatoes to ripen, so she goes to her neighbor with her problem. The neighbor says, All you have to do is go out at midnight and dance around in the garden naked for a few minutes and the tomatoes will become so embarrassed, they will blush bright red. The woman goes out at midnight and dances around her garden naked for a few minutes. The next morning, the neighbor comes over to the woman's house 
and asks the woman if her tomatoes have turned red. The woman says no, they're still green, but I'd noticed the cucumbers grew four inches. <laughs> Guys, these are few dirty jokes for you today. Hope so you enjoy. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hello everyone. Today I got a few dirty jokes for you. So let's start it. Number one, a little boy and his friends are being called bastards and bitches by bullies at school. The boy goes home and asks, Dad, what are bastards and bitches? And his dad replies, bitches are ladies and bastards are gentlemen. Then the boy goes upstairs to see his mom. As he enters the room, he accidentally drops a perfume bottle and his mom says, shit, mom, what is shit? And she says, perfume. So he goes to see his dad, who is carving a chicken, and his dad cuts himself and yells, The boy asks, dad, what does mean? And dad says, preparing. Then he follows his dad upstairs. A few minutes later, his mom and dad are about to have when his dad says, where are the the little boy asks, what are And his father says, are coats and jackets. The following night, his father invites over some important business clients. The boy opens the door for them and says, hello, please come in, bastards and bitches. Hang your con up here. My mom is upstairs rubbing shit on her face and my dad is downstairs chicken. <laughs> Number two, several years ago, Great Britain funded a study to determine why the head on a man's is larger than the shaft. The study took two years and cost over 1.2 million pounds. The study concluded that the reason the head of a man's is larger than the shaft is to provide the man with more pleasure during sex. After the results were published, France decided to conduct their own study on the same subject. They were convinced that the results of the British study were incorrect. After three years of research at a cost of an excess of 2 million euros, the French researchers concluded that the head of a man's is larger than the shaft to provide the woman with more pleasure during When the results of the French study were released, Australia decided to conduct their own study. The Aussies didn't really trust British or French studies. So after nearly three hours of intensive research at a cost of right around $75, three cases of beer, the Aussie study was complete. They concluded that the reason the head on a man's is larger than the shaft is to prevent your hand from flying off and hitting you in the forehead. <laughs> Number three, a small boy asks his dad, Daddy, what is politics? Dad says, well, son, let me try to explain it this way. I'm the breadwinner of the family, so let's call me capitalism. Your mom, she's the administrator of the money, so we'll call her the government. We're here to take care of your needs, so we'll call you the people. The nanny, we'll consider her the working class, and your baby brother, we'll call him the future. Now think about that and see if that makes sense. So the little boy goes off to bed, thinking about what dad has said. Later that night, he hears his baby brother crying, so he gets up to check on him. He finds that the baby has severely soiled his diaper. The little boy goes to his parents' room and finds his mother sound asleep. Not wanting to wake her, he goes to the nanny's room. Finding the door locked, he peeks in the keyhole and sees his father having <laughs> with the nanny. He gives up and goes back to bed. The next morning, the little boy says to his father, Dad, I think I understand the concept of politics now. The father says, Good son, tell me in your own words what you think politics is all about. The little boy replies, Well, while capitalism is screwing the working class, the government is sound asleep, the people are being ignored, and the future is in deep shit. <laughs> Number 4. A panda walks into a bar. He asks the bartender how he can get a little action for the night. The bartender motions to a young woman. She talks to the panda, and they go back to the place. After having f the panda abruptly leaves. The next night, the woman goes to the panda's house. You owe me money, she says. 
for what? The woman rolls her eyes and explains, I'm a prostitute. The panda pulls out a dictionary and looks it up. Prostitute has for money. The panda says, I don't have to pay you. I'm a panda. Look it up. She is about to protest when the panda hands her the dictionary. The woman looks up panda in the dictionary and it reads, panda eats bush and leaves. <laughs> Number five, three guys are drinking in a bar when a drunk comes in, staggers up to the counter and points at the guy in the middle, shouting, your mom's the best in town. Everyone expects a fight, but the guy ignores him, so the drunk wanders off and bellies up to the bar at the far end. Ten minutes later, the drunk comes back, points at the same guy, and says, I just did your mom, and it was so eat. Again, the guy refuses to take the bait, and the drunk goes back to the far end of the bar. Ten minutes later, he comes back and announces, Your mom liked it. Finally, the guy interrupts. Go home, dad. You're drunk. <laughs> Number six, a little boy and his grandfather are raking leaves in the yard. The little boy sees an earthworm trying to get back into its hole. He says, Grandpa, I bet I can put that worm back in that hole. The grandfather replies, I'll bet you five dollars you can't. It's too wiggly and limp to put back in that tiny hole. The little boy runs into the house and comes back out with a can of hairspray. He sprays the worm until it is straight and stiff as a board. The boy then proceeds to slit the dying worm back into the hole. The grandfather hands the little boy five dollars, grabs the hairspray, and runs into the house. Thirty minutes later the grandfather comes back out and hands the boy another five dollars. The little boy says, Grandpa, you already gave me five dollars. The grandfather replies, I know, that's from grandma. <laughs> Number seven, two hookers were on a street corner. They started discussing business and one of the hookers said, yep, it's gonna be a good night, I smell in the air. The other hooker looked at her and said, no, no, I just burped. <laughs> Number eight, man and a woman were approaching their 50th wedding anniversary. To celebrate, the woman decided she would cook a big dinner for her husband. Then he said they should do what they did on their wedding night and eat at the dinner table. The woman agreed. On their anniversary night at the table, the woman says, honey, my n are as hot for you as they were 50 years ago. The man replies, Madge, hon, that's because they are sitting in your soup. Number 9, a large family were going to have Thanksgiving dinner together. The two grandmas of the family were sick of people eating the pudding the night before, so they hatched a plan. They put BB gun pellets in the pudding, so they could see who ate it. The next morning, little Johnny came down from his room and said, Granny, Granny, there were BB bun pellets in my pee last night. Then little Sally came down and said, Grandma, there were BB gun pellets in my pee last night. Then Big Tom came down yelling, help, help, I just shot my girlfriend in the mouth. She went down fine but came up with a hole going right through her tongue and out the side of her mouth. <laughs> Number 10 Maria went home happy, telling her mother about how she earned $20 by climbing a tree. Her mom responded, Maria, they just wanted to see your Maria replied, see mom, I was smart, I took them off. <laughs> Number 11 a few months after his parents were divorced, little Johnny passed by his mom's bedroom and saw her rubbing her body and moaning, I need a man, I need a man. Over the next couple of months, he saw her doing this several times. One day, he came home from school and heard her moaning. When he peeked into her bedroom, he saw a man on top of her. Little Johnny ran into his room, took off his clothes, threw himself on his bed, started stroking himself and moaning, oh, I need a bike, I need a bike. <laughs> Number 12, a man is lying on the beach, wearing nothing but a cap over his crotch. A woman passing by remarks, if you were any sort of a gentleman, you would lift your hat to a lady. He replies, if you were any sort of a lady, 
the hat would lift by itself. <laughs> Number 13, a nun and a priest were crossing the Sahara Desert on a camel. On the third day out, the camels suddenly dropped dead without warning. After dusting themselves off, the nun and the priest surveyed their situation. After a long period of silence, the priest spoke. Well, sister, this looks pretty grim. I know, father. In fact, I don't think it likely that we can survive more than a day or two. I agree. Sister, since we are unlikely to make it out of here alive, would you do something for me? Anything, father. I have never seen a woman's and I was wondering if I might see yours. Well, under the circumstances I don't see that it would do any harm. The nun opened her habit and the priest enjoyed the sight of her shapely commenting frequently on their beauty. Sister, would you mind if I touched them? She consented and he fondled them for several minutes. Father, could I ask something of you? Yes, sister. I have never seen a man's Could I see yours? I suppose that would be oak. The priest replied lifting his robe. Oh, father, may I touch it? This time the priest consented and after a few minutes of fondling, he was sporting a huge erection. Sister, you know that if I insert my pen in the right place, it can give life. Is that true, father? Yes, it is, sister. Then why don't you stick it up the camels and let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Number 14, a boy walks in on his mom and dad having He asks, what are you doing? The dad replies, making you a brother or sister. The boy says, well, do the doggy style, I want a puppy. <laughs> Number 15, Jack and Jill went up the hill so Jack could lick her candy. Jack got a shock with a mouthful of co to find out Jill's real name was Randy. <laughs> Number 16, I'm about three years into my relationship now and I've started to have erection difficulties. My girlfriend and I have different ideas as to what the problem is. She bought me some v and I bought her a treadmill. <laughs> Number 17, a husband and wife decide on a code language whenever they feel like having to escape the attention of their son. According to the code language, the wife will be the typewriter and the husband will act as the typist. However, they had a petty quarrel a few days ago and we're not talking to each other. One day the husband gets into the mood and he can't hold any longer. So he sends a word to his wife through the son. The son comes and tells her, Mom, Dad wants to use the typewriter. The wife was having her periodic at that time and she thought for a while and said, Tell Dad, he can't because the red ribbon is on now, she said. However, the husband misunderstands that it was a deliberate excuse on her part. Next day, the son comes to his dad on an errand from his mom this time and tells him, Dad, mom said it is okay now. The red ribbon is removed and you can type. The husband then tells his son, Tell your mom I don't need to type now. It was urgent, so I've already written with my hand. <laughs> Number 18, one day little Johnny walked out of his bedroom with his suitcase packed. His dad asked him where he was going and Johnny replied, Last night I heard you say that you were pulling out and mommy said she was too. I didn't want to be f behind. <laughs> Number 19, three guys survive a plane crash in the desert. They wander for days, starving and thirsty. They finally come across a lone house and knock on the door, desperate for help. A crusty old lady answers and says she'd be happy to help if one of them will agree to satisfy her first. After a quick discussion, one of the guys decides to take one for the team. He walks into her bedroom while the other two wait outside the house. He tells her to close her eyes and open her legs. He quickly runs to the kitchen and grabs the first shaped thing he can find, an ear of corn. He shoves it in her and throws it out the window, grabs another, rams it in and throws it out the window. She is finally satisfied and agrees to cook for them. He goes outside to get his friends and they exclaim, we're actually not hungry anymore. We just ate some delicious buttery corn on the cob. <laughs> Number 27 year old Lebron was in English class when his teacher asked him to use dictate in a sentence. 
So he says, Last night I heard daddy asking mama, How do my dictate? <laughs> Number 21 Three old women were sitting on a park bench. A flasher ran up and whipped open his coat. Two of the old ladies had a stroke and the third couldn't reach. <laughs> Guys, these are few dirty jokes for you today. Hope so you enjoy. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hello everyone. Today I got a few dirty jokes for you. So let's start it. Number one, it was Christmas Eve. A woman came home to her husband after a day of busy shopping. Later on that night, when she was getting under for bed, he noticed a mark on the inside of her leg. What is that? He asked. She said, I visited the tattoo parlor today. On the inside of one leg, I had them tattoo Merry Christmas. And on the inside of the other one, they tattooed Happy New Year. Perplexed, he asked, why did you do that? Well, she replied, now you can't complain that there's never anything to eat between Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> Number two, during a discussion at Sunday school, a nun asks the children what they think God takes you by when you die. A kid responds, I think God takes you by your feet, because once I walked into my parents' room and my mom's feet were in the air and she was screaming, oh God, I'm <laughs> Number three, two men visit a the first man goes into the bedroom. He comes out 10 minutes later and says, Heck, my wife is better than that. The second man goes in. He comes out 10 minutes later and says, You know, your wife is better. <laughs> Number four, a man goes to his doctor complaining about migraines. His doctor tells him, I also suffer from the same ailment. Every time I get one, I give my wife oral s when she has an org she tightens her legs around my head, which gets rid of the pain. You should try it sometime. Two weeks later on a return visit, the patient tells his doctor, Your suggestion worked, and I'd like to tell you that you have a very nice house. <laughs> Number five, two guys are standing in line to enter heaven. One turned around and asked the other how he died. I froze to death. How about you? I had a heart attack. How did that happen? Well, I suspected my wife was cheating on me. So after work, I went straight home. I ran upstairs to find my wife sleeping by herself. Then I ran back downstairs and looked in all the hiding spots. When I was running back up the stairs, I had a heart attack. That's ironic. Why? If you would have looked in the fridge, we'd both be alive. <laughs> Number six, a little boy walks into his parents' room while they're having <laughs> The boy asks, what are you doing? The mother explains, your daddy was full of air, so I was jumping on him to get it out. The boy says, that's funny. Every time you leave for work, your sister comes and blind him right back up. <laughs> Number seven, three guys travel to Saudi Arabia and get lost. They walk into a tent that they think was the one they rented but actually belongs to a prince with three hot wives. The prince comes home and thinks his wives are cheating on him. As a punishment, he tells them that their <laughs> will have to be cut off in some way relating to their occupation. He asks the first guy what his job was. I'm an employee at the shooting range, he replies. Then we'll shoot your <laughs> off, the prince says. I'm a fireman, the second guy says. Then we'll burn your <laughs> off says the prince. The third guy smiles and says, I'm a lollipop salesman. <laughs> Number eight, a young woman asked her mom if she could go out for some fries and eat them with friends for two hours. Her mom said sure. However, the daughter went to her boyfriend's and had with him for two hours. When she came back home, her mom asked her how the fries were. The daughter replied, nice. The mom said, I can tell you enjoyed them. There's still mayonnaise dripping from your face. <laughs> Number nine, there's an elderly couple who has reached that point in life where isn't part of the itinerary anymore. One night, the wife turns to her husband and says, every time one of us wants to have a bit of a slap and tickle, we just have to say washing machine. 
A night passes, and the husband leans over and whispers, Washing machine. The wife gives him a shove and informs him that she has a headache. A few nights go by and the same thing happens. But the husband is determined, and he reckons he'll just give it one more try. He leans over and whispers seductively, Washing machine. Yet again, the wife turns him away. However, a few moments pass, and the wife's needs arises so she rolls over and recites the word. But the husband turns over and says, Sorry love, it was only a small wash so I did it by hand. <laughs> Number 10 Two Friends Die One goes to heaven and the other goes to hell. The one that goes to heaven begs the angel to let him visit his friend in hell, and the angel agrees. He gets to hell and sees his friend surrounded by beautiful women and alcohol everywhere. He says to his friend, Wow, you were a son of a bitch when we were alive. Hell looks better than heaven. So the friend in hell says, Pour yourself a glass of wine. The heavenly friend pours the wine and notices that the glass has no bottom. The good friend looks at the bad one in confusion and the bad friend says, The glass has no bottom and neither do the girls. Welcome to hell. Number 11. A farmer buys a young rooster. As soon as he brings the bird to the farm, it rushes and f all 150 hens. The farmer is impressed thinking about all the eggs the hens would hatch. At lunch, the rooster again screws all 150 hens. The farmer gets a bit worried now. The next day, he finds the rooster f***ing the ducks, geese, and a parrot too, which is now scaring him. Later that day, he finds the rooster lying pale, half dead with vultures circling over its head. The farmer says, you horny bastard, you deserve this. The rooster opens one eye, points up, and whispers, share. Don't shout, let them land. <laughs> Number 12, one day a man came home from work to find his wife crying hysterically in the kitchen. What's wrong, dearest? Asked the confused husband. Oh, darling, sobbed the wife. I was cleaning little Susie's room when I found whips, handcuffs, and chains under her bed, along with a very erotic magazine. Whatever are we going to do? Well, replied the man, I guess a spanking is out of the question. <laughs> Number 13, I'm a mailman. At Christmas this year, Mrs. Jankowitz met me at the door and invited me in for a great breakfast spread. After I ate, I thanked her and she said, there's more. She took me to her bedroom and showed me moves I had never imagined. I told her I had no idea she felt this way. She said, I don't. I ask, what was all this about? She says, I asked the husband what to give the mailman. He said, screw the mailman. Breakfast was my idea. <laughs> Number 14, after fighting some crime, Superman wanted to score some action. He flew over to Wonder Woman's apartment to see if she was available. As he landed on her balcony, he saw Wonder Woman in bed with her legs wide open. Superman thought to himself, I'm faster than a speeding bullet. I could be in there, have s and be out again before she knew what happened. So Superman did his super thing in a split second and flew off happily. Meanwhile, back on the bed, Wonder Woman asked, Did you hear something? No, said the invisible man, but my hurts like hell. <laughs> Number 15, three babies are in their mother's One of them says, I want to be an artist so everyone knows what it looks like in here. The next one says, I want to be a swimmer because I get so much practice in here. The last baby says, I'm going to be a hunter because if that snake comes in here and pokes me again, I'm going to chop that thing in half. <laughs> Number 16, a super hot chick walks into her church and says to the priest, forgive me father, for I have sinned. The priest says, tell me dear, what's on your mind? Well, father, I am a addict, and lately I discovered that I like doing it with priests. I had with the one from the church two blocks from here, the one five blocks from here, and also the one from the church nearby. The priest says, it's okay, just pray three times a day for one week, and it will all be okay. As the girl tries to go out, 
The priest says, Oh, and don't forget that I will always be here for you. <laughs> Number 17, a mother comes home from work to find that her kids are hiding behind the couch. She asks what's wrong, and the kids reply that Aunt Sally was in the house. So she goes to the bedroom to investigate, and she finds her husband lying on the bed sweaty. She asks, what's going on? He replies, I'm having a heart attack. She says, I'm going to call 911 while I'm really looking for my sister. She discovers the aunt in the bathroom closet in the and gives her a slap. How dare you? My husband is having a heart attack and you're running around scaring the kids. <laughs> Number 18, a husband says to his wife, I bet you can't tell me something that will make me both happy and sad at the same time. The wife thinks about it for a few moments and replies, Your d is bigger than your brother's. <laughs> Number 19, a sailor drops anchor in a port and heads into the nearest pub. Everyone in the pub is whispering and pointing at him because of his odd-shaped body. He has a very muscular body, but a very tiny head on his shoulders. As he orders his drink, he tells the bartender, I'll explain. I get this in every port and town I visit. I caught a mermaid, and she granted me three wishes if I would release her back into the sea. So I told her I wanted a yacht, and sure enough, she came through for me. Next, I asked for a million bucks, and now I am set for life. Last of all, I asked her if I could have with her and her response was, I don't know how you can make love to me with your type of body. So I asked her, how about a little head? Number 22 homeless men are devising a plan to get free drinks at a bar. The first one has an idea. We'll buy a hot dog and stick it down your pants, walk into the bar, get our drinks, drink, and when the bartender asks for his money, you pull down your pants and I on the hot dog that you put down there. He'll kick us out and we won't have to pay. It's brilliant. The second man agrees and they do this in the first bar where it works just as planned. Then they hit up four more bars, and the first man says, this is great, getting all these free drinks. The other man replies, yeah, especially because the hot dog fell out at the first bar. <laughs> Number 21, a husband suspected his wife was cheating on him. He explained his situation to a pet shop owner who replied, I have a parrot that will let you know daily what goes on in your house. The bird has no legs, so he holds onto his perch with his <laughs> Reluctantly, the husband brought the bird home. At the end of the first day, the man asked the bird, Did anything happen today? The parrot said, Yes, the milkman came over. The man asked, What did he do with my wife? The bird said, I don't know, I got hard and fell. <laughs> Number 22, in a tiny village lived an old maid. In spite of her old age, she was still a v She was very proud of it. She knew her last days were getting closer, so she told the local undertaker that she wanted the following inscription on her tombstone. Born as a v lived as a v died as a v Not long after, the old maid died peacefully, and the undertaker told his men what the lady had said. The men went to carve it in, but the lazy no goods they were, they thought the inscription to be unnecessarily long. They simply wrote, returned unopened. <laughs> Number 23 Stan is seconds away from receiving a vasectomy when his brother and sister-in-law barge in holding their newborn baby. Stop, you can't do this, exclaims the brother. And why not? Asks Stan. Don't you want to have a beautiful baby someday? Like my wife and I have here. Stan says nothing. The brother grows impatient. Simon Stan, I want a nephew. Stan, make me an uncle. Stan can't take it anymore. He gives his sister-in-law an apologetic look and asks his brother, you're sure you want a nephew? Yes, the brother replies. It would be an honor. Well, congratulations, you're holding him. <laughs> Number 24, this young fellow is about to be married and is asking his grandfather about He asks how often you should have it. His grandfather tells him, 
When you first get married, you want it all the time, and maybe you'll do it several times a day. Later on, tapers off, and you have it once a week or so. Then as you get older, you have maybe once a month. When you get really old, you are lucky to have it once a year, like maybe on your anniversary. The young fellow then asks his grandfather, well how about you and grandma now? His grandfather replies, oh, we just have oral now. What's oral The young fellow asks. Well, she goes to bed in her bedroom, and I go to bed in my bedroom. She yells, screw you, and I holler back, screw you too. <laughs> Guys, these are few dirty jokes for you today. Hope so you enjoy. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hello everyone. Today I got a few dirty jokes for you. So let's start it. Number one a guy and his wife are sitting and watching a boxing match on television. The husband sighs and complains. This is disappointing. It only lasted for 30 seconds. Good, replied his wife. Now you know how I always feel. <laughs> Number two, give it to me. Give it to me, she yelled. I'm so wet. Give it to me now. She could scream all she wanted to. I was keeping the umbrella. <laughs> Number three, one day little Johnny asks his mum, how come when I come into your room you and you're on top of daddy, you say you're making a sandwich, but after a while I come in again, you're eating a sausage. <laughs> Number four, a guy takes his girlfriend to his bedroom, drops his pants and says, meet my little brother. The girlfriend picks up her purse on the way out and says, call me when he grows up. <laughs> Number five, one day a man and woman were in their bedroom making love. All of a sudden, a bumblebee entered the bedroom window. As the lady parted her legs, the bee entered her <laughs> The woman started screaming, oh my God, help me, there's a bee in my valley. <laughs> the husband immediately took her to the local doctor and explained the situation. The doctor thought for a moment and said, hmm, tricky situation. But I have a solution to the problem if young so would permit. The husband being very concerned agreed that the doctor could use whatever method to get the bee out of his wife's valley. The doctor said, okay, what I'm going to do is rub some honey over the tip of my and insert it into your wife's valley. When I feel the bee getting closer to the tip of my I shall withdraw it and the bee should hopefully follow my out of your wife's The husband nodded and gave his approval. The lady said, yes, whatever, just get on with it. So the doctor, after covering the tip of his with honey, entered the woman. After a few gentle strokes, the doctor said, I don't think the bee has noticed the honey yet. Perhaps I should try further. The lady began to quiver with excitement, moaning aloud. The doctor, concentrating very hard, looked like he was enjoying himself. The husband became very annoyed and shouted, Now wait a minute. What the hell do you think you're doing? The doctor, still concentrating, replied, Change of plan. I'm gonna drown the bastard. <laughs> Number six, the doc told a guy that before often helped men last longer during the act. The man decided, what the hell, I'll try it. He spent the rest of the day thinking about where to do it before he got home to his wife. He couldn't do it in his office. He thought about the restroom, but that was too open. He considered an alley, but figured that was too unsafe. Finally, he realized his solution. On his way home, he pulled his truck over on the side of the highway. He got out and crawled underneath as if he was examining the truck. Satisfied with the privacy, he undid his pants and started to play with his unit. He closed his eyes and thought of his lover. As he grew closer to the big finish, he felt a quick tug at the bottom of his pants. Not wanting to lose his mental fantasy or the <laughs> he kept his eyes shut and replied, what? He heard, this is the police. What's going on down there? The man replied, I'm checking out the rear axle, it's busted. The cop replied, well, you might as well check your brakes too, 
while you're down there because your truck rolled down the hill five minutes ago. <laughs> Number seven, a teenage boy takes a quadriplegic girl on a date to dinner and the movies. At the end of the night out, he drives her back home and they start making out in his car. He tells the girl he feels uncomfortable doing this where her parents could come outside and catch them in the act. She says not to worry because she has a place they can go. So he helps her in her chair and she tells him to wheel her into the backyard. When they get in the back, she shows him a huge weeping willow tree that they can hide under and says he can do whatever he wants to her. Under the tree, she shows him two branches that can prop her up and he has his way with her. When they finish, he dresses himself and her, puts back into her chair, wheels her to the front door and knocks. When her father sees the young man, he thanks him. The boy feels very uncomfortable because of what he just did to the man's daughter and asks, why are you thanking me? Because son, the father answers, you are the first boy to take her out of the tree. <laughs> Number eight, a representative for a company is on her way to a convention. While rushing through the airport, she drops the briefcase carrying her samples of all over the floor. As she is stuffing all the back into her briefcase, she notices tourists giving her crazy looks. It's Ock, she says, I am doing a huge convention. <laughs> Number nine, the little rascal's class for having a spelling test. The teacher asks if anyone can use the word admire in a sentence. Spanky raises his hand and says, I admire my dog. Good job. The teacher replies, now, who can use respect in a sentence? Alfalfa raises his hand and says, I respect Spanky for admiring his dog. Ok, replies the teacher, now who can use the word dictate in a sentence? There is silence in the class. Then all of a sudden Buckwheat says, Dala, how did my dictate? <laughs> Number 10, a man comes home early from work and tells his wife he just got fired. He tells her, I got caught with my in the pickle slicer. His wife asks him if his is okay, and he assures her it is fine. Well, she asks, what happened to the pickle slicer? Oh, he says, she got fired too. <laughs> Number 11, a construction worker on the third floor of a building needs a handsaw. He sees one of the laborers on the first floor and yells down to him, but the man indicates that he can't hear. So the guy on the third floor tries to use signs. He points to his eye, meaning eye, then at his knee, meaning need, and he moves his hand back and forth, meaning handsaw. The man on the first floor nods, then drops his pants and begins to <laughs> The man on the third floor freaks out and runs down to the first floor yelling, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you stupid or something? I was saying that I needed a handsaw. The laborer looks at the carpenter and says, I knew that. I was just trying to tell you that I was <laughs> Number 12 roses are red nuts, are brown skirts, go up pants, go down body to body, skin to skin. When it's stiff, stick it in the longer it's in the stronger it gets, it goes in dry and comes out wet. It comes out dripping and starts to sag. It's not what you think. It's a tea bag. <laughs> Number 13, two are racing to reach the ovule. After a minute, one asks the other, hey, how much longer until we reach the ovaries? The other answers, keep swimming, fool. We haven't even passed the tonsils yet. <laughs> Number 14, three boys were discussing their father's favorite foods. The first kid said his father loves to eat burgers. The second boy said his father loves KFC. The third boy said his father loves to eat light. The other two boys questioned how his father does that. The third boy replied, every night I hear my daddy tell mommy to turn off the light so he can eat it. <laughs> Number 15, a boy was going through his grandmother's wood one night and found her ID card. Grandma? He asked it, how much do you weigh? His grandmother replied, that's not an appropriate question. Jimmy, he then asked, how old are you? She again replied, that's not appropriate, Jimmy. Finally, he asked, Grandma, 
why did Grandpa leave you? Before she had time to answer, Jimmy looked at the card and said, oh I see, it's because you got an F in <laughs> Number 16, a woman seated herself in the psychiatrist's office. What seems to be the problem? The doctor asked. Well, I ah, uh, she stammered. I think I ah, uh, might be an infomaniac. I see, he said. I can help you, but I must advise you that my fee is $80 an hour. That's not bad, she replied. How much for all night? <laughs> Number 17, a man walks into a bar and the bartender says, if you can make that horse over there laugh, you can get free drinks for the rest of the night. The man walks over, says something to the horse, it laughs, and he walks back over to the bar to collect his free drinks. The next night, the man goes back to the bar, and the bartender asks the man if he can make the horse cry. The man walks over, does something to the horse, and it starts to cry. The bartender asks, how did you make it cry? The man replies, well, to make the horse laugh last night, I told it I had a bigger and to make it cry tonight, I showed it. <laughs> Number 18 worried about their less than exciting life. A young wife sends her husband to a therapist who winds up treating him with self-hypnosis. To her joy, everything gets much better. However, she can't help but notice that each night, just before their lovemaking, the husband dashes out to the bathroom for several minutes. This torments her until finally, one night, she follows him. There, in front of the mirror, she finds him applying this therapeutic technique. She's not my wife. She's not my wife. She's not my wife. <laughs> Number 19, a lady sitting in the dentist chair told the dentist, I would rather go through the pain of childbirth than have you drill in my mouth. The dentist replied, well, you had better make up your mind so I can adjust my chair. <laughs> Number 20, what's the difference between a lady and a light bulb? You can unscrew a light bulb. <laughs> Number 21, I told my wife that I would get a tattoo on my pecker of a $1 million bill. This way she can below a million bucks without leaving the house. <laughs> Number 22, a statue of a woman and a man stand in a park at night. Suddenly, from out of nowhere, a magical genie arrives and grants the statues each one wish to be fulfilled. Both the female and male statues agree on 15 minutes as a real man and woman in the bushes behind them to get things done. The genie gives a knowing grin and grants the wish. The man and woman immediately jump behind the bushes and screaming sounds and laughter can be heard from their activities. Twelve minutes later, they return to the front of the bush again claiming they are finished. Well now, that was kinda quick, the Ginny says. You can do it a second time for the remaining three minutes if you want, the Ginny tells them, winking his eye. Both the female and male look at each other and smile. The man says to the woman, okay great, but this time you get to hold the pigeon so I can shit on him. <laughs> Number 23, two girls and a boy are playing doctors and nurses behind the shed one day. The little boy suddenly drops his pants and shows them his <laughs> One girl screams and runs away, the other rolls her eyes and proudly scoffs. Puffed, that's nothing. My daddy's got two of those. What? Says the boy too. Yeah two, replies the girl, one for going <laughs> and another for cleaning the nanny's teeth. <laughs> Number 24, after being married for 20 years to his lover, a gay man dies. When the funeral arrangements have been set, the widower approaches the undertaker with a peculiar request. I know he had plans to cremate his body, but will you please chop him up and put him in an extra spicy curry instead? The undertaker asks, why would you want that? The gay widow replies, so he will blow my one more time. Number 25, a blonde walks into a bar and asks the bartender, What do you have on tap? He replies, And use a bush, and house your bush. She says, Just fine. How's your <laughs> Number 26, traveling through the country, an old couple drives into a gas station. 
The attendant asks the old man, Where are you folks from? I know everybody in this town. The old man says, We're from Nebraska. Hard of hearing, the old lady nudges her husband. What did he say, Papa? The old man answers her. He asked us where we are from. Oh, replies the old woman. The old man tells the attendant to fill up the tank and check the tires. When that's all done, the attendant tells the old man, you know, the worst piece of a I ever had was from Nebraska. The old lady nudges her husband once more and asks, what did he say, Papa? The husband replies, he thinks he knows you, Mama. <laughs> Number 27, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch some marijuana. Jack and Jill slipped down the hill and asked Jill if she wanna. She said yes and dropped her dress and had a little fun. Jill forgot to take her pill and now they have a son. <laughs> Guys, these are few dirty jokes for you today. Hope so you enjoy. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.